I feel like there's a special type of concentration that you need to be able to read into the data because first of all, accumulating it, writing it, you know, noting it all down, putting it input, inputting it everywhere. It takes a lot of time. There's a lot of work that goes into that. Yo, <laughs> like, t <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah. Cause, um, I have one project I'm working on right now. It's a bigger opportunity than I can put into words and I can share some of it. I guess it's a Valorant team one of the biggest esports orgs in the world, if not like top three in the world, mm. um, just helping me, like giving me data, making, you know, giving me a small project to work on. And if it all works out, maybe it could be something, maybe it can't, but the amount of time I've put into it so far, it's like the past two days, 12 hour days of just nonstop coding. Mm. But this time I take off my headset. To <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a specialty but I, I i went to school for it it's like my passion so mixing the two together is just absolutely a blessing um and i think it has a lot of value with a lot of stuff i'm doing uh project wise it's going to go back into this and you'll, you'll probably see it soon I, i'm making a, a quite the special one okay. for for warzone league of legends and valorant but it, it'll take a bit of time is this something that gets done a lot in the esports scene maybe at the top level with with teams that are really committed or is this something it's sort of very new and fresh that not, not a lot of people would know what what to do with it it's in the middle i'd say i would say um the most notable game that has a strong data analytics background is league of legends um they have data analyst teams and like they're paired with different companies that like help them provide data and just give it out to their players and you know, translate certain aspects to it, but in other sports, it's new. Apparently, the Valorant one, not many people are doing. There's websites that have something similar, I guess, but to what the team currently wants, apparently, no one's doing it. So, to me, that's a, oh, dope. It's a huge opportunity, both with the big esports org and also like maybe it can work for other esports orgs and I could be contracted out to them too. Like, you know, there's a lot of uh, the sky's the limit when it comes to data and applying it to, to different orgs and different. Um, esports games because not everyone's using it and i i think it's very underrated but it also like like you kind of said like it takes a lot of time uh, unless you're a god at coding which i'm i'm not a god so it could take a long time i'm it sure time. no know. i'm sure you're a very high level coder don't worry <laughs> you, uh, actually to share i guess for the warzone one one thing that i looked at for one of the more recent tournaments is analyzing the players that are, are within that to kind of figure out like how they're getting the most kills in a tournament setting Mm. What is it about their movement, their rotations, all that stuff. But my most fun part of that was I can analyze a player's crosshair tendencies where let's say you have a gun player like um, a Tom, I'll just use Tommy because he's a really good competitive player. Let's say yeah. you have him and you see most of his kills. I made a program that can record those kills and take the patterns of his crosshair and kind of put it into words of like, if you play against Tommy, maybe you should reach out and extend yourself further with like a B hop. I guess that was Warzone back in the day. Right, yeah. Not Warzone 2, but that's how you could counter him, so to speak. Like that's how you can play against him. Mm. And for most recent players in Warzone 2, what I found was like maybe you shouldn't peek more often because they they tend to win uh peaking battles mm. or if you're in a straight 1v1 long range that's when you should fight him because they're really bad at fighting long range mm. figuring out those tendencies i've been able to do kind of successfully kind of not it's a research in progress but those types of statistics i feel like uh individuals will find a lot of benefit from and right now it's for fun but maybe it could be something bigger no that's that's definitely something that i, I feel like is in a lot of sports uh, I'm not sure if it's in esports because esports is kind of a new, a newer sort of um, field to be in. But that would come in very handy with things like customs. And when you actually play top level players against each other, that that little just a little insight like that could make the world of difference. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I wish more or, uh, gaming companies like the developers. I wish they gave data out, but I have to do it all from hand. Like find unique ways to find it, like that mm. data. Cause it's not all public most of the time and you can't really you know get private data like that so kind of tough but to me so far it's been a fun project kind of worth the time because i i've had a few people reach out and be like yo i i'll probably pay you if you can get me that so i'm like hey dope low key i was like all right i'm down i'll try it out